now and my has the weather changed freezing cold although here I am sat in my t-shirt but, but I do have the benefit of a heater the weather reports on the boat don't look too promising uh, apparently the country is going to be gripped by another snowstorm it's going to cover much of the uh, much of the country today blizzards and drifts all they're talking about I'm not going home just yet. My intention is to have a little bit more of a wander. I've got another week or so of messing about. Uh, and I shall make my way over to Devon Cornwall side. That's if the snow doesn't stop me first. I might stop off halfway um, and get myself out of it. If it's really, really bad, then I shall be sensible about it and I shall hold up somewhere. Um, but my intention is to see out for the time that I have as leave, so I'm going to do it. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I make it. Not long off the ferry. Middle of the afternoon now. Uh, I'm over the Somerset. Devon kind of location. Been through Salisbury, a uh, bit of a snow flurry there, and I'm sure that weather is going to come over here at some stage, but actually here it's actually quite good, fingers crossed. In relation to what I'm going to do for the next few days, I'm not sure because the bulk of my trip and experience was the Corsica mainland Europe bit. So I think I'm just going to record things as I see them. I spoke too soon about the weather. I think the thing about this type of weather is if you're not an outdoorsy type of person, you can spend most of this day sat at home in front of the fire, being nice and warm and cosy, and that's all well and good. But there's so much more that people are missing. And again, it's not me being melancholy or anything like that, but I know where I'd rather be right now. And I'm quite happy with that. It's March, and um, well, we're supposed to be heading into spring, but as you can see, that's not happening just yet. Um, it's a fantastic time to be out. That's all I'm gonna say about it. So having left the van parks up, I find myself in a little copsewood of that description, uh, and a pathway down to the sea. It's amazing what you find when uh, you get the courage to just dump your stuff and head out. Uh, it's all big on the snow. It's all a bit of a, a void your discovery. But the things you find at the end of it all are well worth the uh, well worth the effort. I'm at the entrance to a village called Clovelly. Um, it's a village you have to pay to come into, um, so it's cut off from the rest of the world in that respect. Um, interesting. I'm going to have a look. I suppose it's a little bit like Avebury, the town of Avebury. Um, that's situated in the middle of some stone circle. 
the only difference being that you don't have to pay to go to Avebury. So it'll be interesting to see what this is all about. a little bit more about this place, this village and all the houses in it and everyone who lives here they, well they don't own the houses um, the whole village is owned by one family uh, in fact one of three families that have owned this place since the Norman conquest this place has been around since the 14th century the streets that I'm walking on now all these, uh, these, these pebbles have been brought up from the beach to make these roads and, and the roads are really really steep hence there are no vehicles in this village at all apart from a land drop service which runs later on in the year and that's to get people back up to the top if you want to get back up to the top it's a, uh, it's a steep or you can use donkeys which I'm not going to do uh, the donkeys Filming here is going to be a little bit bouncy because I haven't got my gimbal with me and I'm just holding the GoPro because it's the only thing I've got at this moment in time so that's just the way of the world unfortunately. The Valley of the Rocks. As I said before, just getting yourself about and doing things or going to places you wouldn't normally go to um, brings up so many dividends. I'm over by close around Exmoor, I think. Well, I should know to be there, but I have just been bimbling as if we're just driving around. Anyway, this is the Valley of the Rocks. Quite spectacular in the snow. 